the general public, I find that they are quite surprised to find out that the Libertarian Party is not a monolith. And uh, when I point out to them that, it, it, that there is a, a left and, and right leaning uh, portion to the spectrum, uh, they are quite surprised. Uh, but the thing that unites us as Libertarians, of course, and I, I like to call forth the idea of the, the Nolan uh, political chart. And there's the upper uh, left and right, and that's the authoritarian, and then there's the non-authoritarian left and right, which is down the bottom of the chart. And uh, I've been working with a number of people uh, within the party that are all about bottom unity. It's a hashtag bottom unity. And I'd say my uh, campaign uh, reflects that very much. Uh, we are all anti-statists, we're all anti-authoritarians, we're all libertarians, agreeing with the platform and the NAP. And uh, we have people uh, that are more ANCOM, and we have people that are more ANCAP. Uh, my uh, running mate, Spike uh, Cohen, is an amazing uh, gentleman who has uh, uh, far more credibility with the right end of the party, and I have uh, more credibility with the left end, it seems. But we are working together to push forth liberty. Follow me to victory, people. Hold down the applause to the end, please. <laughs> what unifies the Democratic and Republican parties is institutional authority. They resolve every conflict in favor of institutional authority. And they know the Constitution better than we do. They read it for a different reason. They read it to carve out exceptions. What everyone in this room is down with is individual autonomy. So this contest is a contest between institutional authority and individual autonomy. And that's what it's all about. I think the Libertarian Party, as long as it just keeps speaking, we keep speaking, it'll grow on its own. And we need more of a sense of community in America in general. They guys relate to legalize all the drugs. I don't truthfully believe that 100%. But I believe that if it has a medical benefit, then it should be legalized for everyone. If it has no medical benefit, those drugs should stay separate from. They have a place in the community where they can check in on each other for the highly addictive drugs. Not enough people go and check in on people who take the opioids right now. I mean, they're just pumping them out and shipping them off to the side or pushing them out of places down near Trenton, near my hometown, where they live under bridges because they don't have them. So, that's <coughs> Libertarian unity comes from three parts. First part is us, the political libertarian. Those that fight to legalize marijuana and legalize other drugs. Those who fight to change laws against cryptocurrency. Those who fight to, lead, to get rid of all gun restrictions. Those are political libertarians. But it doesn't end there. We have techno libertarians. Those are the people that give us the, give us the technology to overwhelm our adversary through things like cryptocurrency, unbreakable encryption. The tech the libertarians, they work together with the political libertarians. Finally, and most importantly, the individual choice libertarians. That's where the power comes from. People who refuse to enlist, refuse to join the police force. People who encourage others to refuse to enlist, to refuse to join the police force. People who choose homeschooling rather than government schools. People who choose to use Bitcoin rather than Federal Reserve notes. Individual choice libertarians, that's a major part of our movement. One final note, though, we have one more group, and I want to give a special shout out to them because I see some of you guys here. The jury nullifiers, those that use our constitutional rights to shut down the abuses of government. Legalized weed. Dead serious. Legalized weed. I like to say re legalize and re privatize. That way. I, we've been saying this for, some of us have been saying this for 20 years. Re legalize and re privatize. It shocks people. It, it, it stops people in their tracks if they don't realize it. At one time, everything was legal. Before 1913, everything was legal. Before 1913, actually before 1960, 1960 <coughs> early 60s, almost everything was privatized, or at least done at the local level. Uh, but if we need one clear message, it, I would say it's as Ron Paul used to say, I'm a definitely Ron Paul libertarian, get back to the Constitution, it's something that we all agree with, we all have copies of it, there are free copies everywhere. Get government out of health care before government started getting into health care. Health care was affordable. It was only 5% of GDP instead of 19% like today. Uh, get government out of our schools. 
before the federal government started getting into schools, schools were a lot less expensive, but the standards were higher and had much higher and better graduation rates, and a, di a diploma meant more. Uh, fifth, you know, Tenth Amendment, 50 different solutions for 50 different states. Uh, we all we all read it. I think everybody here agrees at a minimum that we should be getting back to the Constitution. All right, we're going to start with Mr. Berman. 